Hi everybody! Hey y'all, it's Devious Cosplay here with another video showing you guys how I made Zero's boots. So let's get into this video. To get the boot shape that I was going for, I had an existing boot to use as a template and just built up the layers using plastic bags and masking tape to secure them in place. And once I was happy with that overall shape, I just went back over it with the plastic wrap to get it ready for duct tape. After mummifying this boot, I applied a layer of duct tape and drew on my pattern, which I then cut out and transferred over to cardstock. And after that, I'm now able to transfer it over to foam and cut it out. This pattern was made for just one side, so since there's going to be two sides to this pattern, I did have to flip it over to make a left and a right side and repeat the same process for the second boot. So you have to trace everything four times. I did cut down the bulk of this foam sheet to sizable chunks just to make things easier for me to cut out these individual pieces. This is the tip of the boot. As you can see here, I'm making a 45 degree inward cut along the dotted line and beyond that is a straight 90 degree cut. After cutting all of these out, I whipped out the heat gun so I can heat form all of these pieces over my styrofoam dome. Once I have everything shaped and ready to go, I now apply a layer of contact cement on each of these pieces and set them aside so they can get tacky to the touch. And of course, I can start assembling after that. I try to take my time assembling all of this together. Uh, once that contact cement touches itself, there's no going back. So just take your time and you'll be good. This is the assembly for one half of the back panel of the boot. This is the assembly for the very tip of the boot. I've just taken my time putting all of this together. With the left side done, I'm able to move on to the right side and assemble everything together just as before. With both sides completed, I start to join them from the very tip of the boot, as I feel that's gonna be the easiest by starting with that 45 degree cut and then moving my way up. I applied the glue at the tip of the boot and at the very back, but didn't bother putting any in the middle just because I felt like it would stick the whole time as I'm trying to assemble everything. So I felt like it was better to do that later. With the main parts now glued together, I am now ready to finish up the metal. With the shell set aside, I start with the bottom by outlining a pair of old shoes that I'm going to use this costume. Don't come for me for these shoes, I know they dirty.
I made these little straps as a security piece for my shoes to keep everything in place. So these are gonna hold down the shoes as I wear them. With these strips cut out, I kind of position them on the shoe to kind of see where the best fitment will be. Once I'm happy with the positioning, then I'll just mark it and move on to the next strip. Just as the previous strip, once I'm happy with the positioning, I mark it out and glue them all together. After all that was done, it was time for a test fit. So, so far, so good. I applied the contact cement on the top and bottom half of the boot along the edge. And once everything's done and dry, I'm able to assemble them all together as carefully as possible. Here are the finished boots. I did want to get rid of most of the seams, so I went over it with my Dremel and back over it again with sandpaper starting from 220, moving my way up and burning the end of the boot to mimic the look on Zero's boot. Once I was happy with how everything turned out, I went over it with Plasti Dip. After doing three coats of Plasti Dip, I tape off the tip of the boot to get it ready for painting. I went over this whole section with a gloss black and only did about two coats. I let that paint dry for 24 hours and started with the tip going over with a flat white. Nice. I used my airbrush to highlight some of the edges and sealed it with some clear coat. And after that, I moved on with some silver rub and buff on the end of my paintbrush and just went over the edge to kind of add some scratches here and there where I thought it should be. As you can see here, I'm just kind of feathering it out back and forth to kind of ease that scratch into the boot. I went over the entire white section with my black shoe polish so I could add the dirtiness to it and I just use a damp paper towel to kind of wipe it off as I go. The next part I have is rubber soles for shoes. So I flip this over and trace the boot over it and just try to cut it out. And just doing this will just make everything so much easier when you're walking on concrete so you're not tearing up your boots. And after cutting out both, you have little grippy grips for your boots. Now just need to rough up the edges with sandpaper and you're able to add the contact cement and glue this onto your boots. After the glue has become tacky, I'm now able to join both of these pieces together. Now, the rubber pieces do add a little bit of weight to these boots, but it really does protect them when you're walking on concrete, because they will tear up your foam. The last thing I made for these boots are these battery holders that will power the leg armor. With all of the pieces cut out and glued together, this is the overall look that I'm going for when inserting them inside of the boots. With both sides completed, I traced it on the outer edge of each boot and this is basically how it's going to sit and I'll just try to make sure not to glue it on that strap 
as that needs to stay flexible. Before gluing down this battery holder, I place some glue in the middle for my Velcro and then I'll go over the outer edge. Before inserting the holder, I place the Velcro in first and follow up with the battery holder after that. For the last part, I insert the battery holder. Uh, it doesn't have to be too pretty, so I'm not being overly cautious about it. So this is how it all looks in the end. And when the battery holder is inserted, it's basically just going to sit like this. All right, and this is the end result. And so far, I think it came out pretty good. So I'm looking forward to the next part. I'm currently remaking the old uh, leg armor. I'm trying to replace it with a newer version, um, but I just need a little more time to finish it. And, but basically it will look something like this. And of course you'll have the light that will be shining through here, but I will be making the other side over here as well. So that will be coming sometime after this video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Y'all take care. Thank you.